Kenneth Thomas, a prolific robber and now a murderer, has been sitting in this police interrogation room for over three hours. He's been caught in lie after lie. His original story was that he was forced to participate in a robbery by some out-of-town thugs. But as the detective pulls out evidence after evidence, Kenneth eventually shows more of his true self. And while he does admit to this one robbery that led to the death of Saeed Sharwani, a gas station employee, Kenneth still denies having any of the money from the robbery. However, now Kenneth is about to do the right thing. He's about to pull the money out from, well, from his ass. But that still leaves five robberies, including one bank robbery, that Kenneth has not owned up to. And so two out-of-town detectives enter the room to grill him. Let's watch the conclusion to the crazy interrogation of Kenneth Thomas. But first, let's reminisce together. I watch a lot of CSI and okay. Arrested 48 and all that good stuff with my face direct on it. Yes, we do. We have that. You know, yeah. Yeah. You know, I even show me pictures like this is you on this. Pictures? Yeah. This is the gun at your house. Mm -hmm. The gun in the diaper box. It's the mask that you were wearing. Yeah, you're wearing these same clothes on different cameras. Problem is, you didn't have your mask on at that time. Right. I didn't know that was Kenneth, though. Because we have all the evidence to show that it is. No, you don't, actually. We do. That's where Hollywood comes in. That's where all that drama on the Hollywood TV that you see, they have all that stuff to make what it What type of DNA? What do you mean, what type of DNA? What type of DNA you guys have would need a search warrant to get DNA out of my How do that sound? What do you mean, how does that sound? We do it every day. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Where did you have it stashed? It was in my ass. Way up there. No, thank you, God. I know what I have done. Shouldn't have been done. I know all the commitments. One of them was murder. Another was stealing. And there were a few others. I'm going to do the right thing.
Hey. Don't be ripping it though, okay? Don't be ripping it. Here's your soda. Alright. So, what's going on with uh, the camera going? Mm -hmm. So, what was going on with the camera going? Yeah. Well, it's important that we know about this so we can get it back. Okay, tell me about it. Pardon me? More. Gotcha. Later, guys, from Hawaii. How's it going? Oh, you remember us from yesterday? You remember you? I what you wanted to talk about, but tell me about this. Get your seat. Okay, let's wipe this out. Please check this out. You're welcome. coming from? I am as well. I know that you don't know me from Adam, okay? Um, but before I can call my coworkers or supervisors or, or anybody like that, say, hey, this person has no more suspicion on them whatsoever, they're going to ask me why. How do I know that information? And I have to be able to tell them how and why I know that. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. So, well, first of all, you know it ain't them because I'm on camera leaving in and out. Oh. The building that I'm located in. Mm hmm. Okay. That's what you were talking to Detective Bergen about. Um, I'd like to speak to you about a robbery that happened downtown late last year on December 29th. Yeah, that handgun was used in that robbery as well. Yeah. You want to tell me about that? God that I bought the car from gave him like two hundred dollars. Same kid like me out here trying to find a way. Okay. When did you buy the gun? Um. Last sometime uh, November, December. Well, it, it, it was last year, though. Okay. At the end of the month. Cool. More to the story is, 
I bought the gun. He told me what it was used for. The little guy out the hood. Stays on 15th and Harlem. Mm-hmm. Tell me the Puerto Rican guy. I used to hang with these guys. Cut them off, they got too big headed. You know, they wanted more than what I had. They wanted more than what they had. What they had. You know, like they wanted to be the top and tell me what he did. I didn't care. I just wanted to come. Yeah. Do you were, was this late November that you bought the gun? Early December? Somewhere in there? Uh, it was a good day. End of the month. I think it was November or December, one of them. I knew it was at the end of the month. So you had the gun, you, you basically owned it at the end of December and up to present, pretty much. No, not at present. I bought it. I need it. This guy's out trying to kill me. Okay. So, on December 29th, kind of, was a day I'm, I wanted to talk to you specifically about, uh, obviously, two days before New Year's Eve on Water Street. Does that ring any bells with you? Yeah, the bank was right. Okay. You want to tell me about that? What you want to know about it? Well, let's start out with what happened. Why did you choose that bank? I'm calm. I'm not coming home. I do want to let you guys know that you don't have to tell me there is a possibility of his. I just know I'm calm. Too many robberies. Plus murder. Oh yeah, I'm calm. Big time. Is there any particular reason why you picked this bank up? My uncle needed money to get buried properly. Look, there's a lot of banks out there. Is there a reason why you picked this bank? I knew all about the bank. How's that? My mom go there. So she banks there? Yeah. Do you bank there? Yeah, my, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it. Okay, so you have a bank account there? Yeah. Is that your regular bank? or? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember the name of the bank? No. I go there to order a lot. Does it start with a P? Prime Financial. Does that ring a bell? Yeah. Ring a bell. What floor is it on? First floor. Okay. So is that why you picked the bank? Because you know the layout? Yeah. Um, and you decided you needed the money for your uncle's burial. Um, is there a specific reason why you picked that day and that time? Well, actually, I was at the point giving up. And my mom went to see the same day. Well, actually, minutes before it happened, she went to see if we had our money in there from our checks. And we did. You didn't? No. Uh -uh. So uh, what happened was we drove off. I said, Ma, let me out. She looked in my eyes and said, what you, what you finna do? She said, don't worry about it, Ma. Just let me out. I'll be back home. I walked back. Did you have the gun on you? Uh, yeah. Okay. And this gun that you bought for two hundred dollars? This one? Mm-hmm. A high point nine millimeter. Who did you buy the gun from? Some little guy. Just like me. Do you know his name, his street name? Thugger. The what? Thugger. Like thug, okay. with an A at the end. 
Any of those are all fifth in the hillside there? Yeah. Does he live there or does he just hang out there? Do you he know if he just, stays there? He lives there. He's got a lot of artillery. Okay. So How old is he? 25, 26. White guy, black guy, not guy. Black guy. How tall is he, Kenneth? Not high. How much do you think he weighs? I don't know his first name or anything. That's what they call him in the street. Okay. Uh, you went into the bank. Uh, do you use a note? Yeah. I didn't plan it. It just, it just happened. It's how we put the fun place. Okay. I went to write the note. What did you write on the note? Uh, need 20 G's, 20,000, no dive bags. But by the time I'm writing, the note, lady approached me. The one my mom was real cool with it. She didn't know who it was. She didn't recognize you? No. Okay. Maybe if I would have kept my face, if I would have pulled my face up a little more, but I knew she was trying to get to look in my eyes. But I'll put my head down more, and that's when I'm not going to be Okay. Did you go to like their bank, like their bank island? Yeah, I went up to uh, one of the, where one of the people was at. <clears throat> you mean like the tower window? Yeah. Where did you write the note out though? At the bank right there, right, right there by the table. You first walk in and talk okay. down. And then you wrote, give me 20,000, no die packs. Anything else? Yeah. What, what else did you write? You went to her. Okay. Nothing else was wrong. Okay. And then so the lady was approaching you. Do you know her name? No, sir. Okay. So kept your... Did you have your face covered? Were you afraid that she would recognize you? Mm-hmm. No, what did you... Did you have your hood up or... Can't remember. Can't remember. Okay. But you you off the nine mil on her? Yeah, I was going off the hair on. Did you and you pointed the gun at her? Did she get back then? I wasn't scared at all. Okay. The only one was scared was uh <coughs> the one at the teller. At the actual okay. register? Okay. Yeah. So did you go over to her then? It was a guy, too. Okay, a guy teller? It was a guy and girl there. Okay. There was three people in that bank. You mean working? Yeah. Okay. And then there was somebody going in to get money. But after she saw what was going on, she never put her hands out. She had it out? Yeah. Okay. Did you uh, give the tellers the note? Yeah. Did you uh, say anything to them, Kenneth? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember what I said. I was so nervous right now. Same feeling I'm getting out. So you just handed up the note? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What did you use the rain for? I gave it up to everybody. The family, like my home, like on New Year's. After. You didn't use it for your uncle's funeral? No, I didn't have a chance to. How come? Everything was uh, was set already. They signed the papers for him to get cremated. Okay. Right after his death. Which uh, which employee did you hand the note to? I couldn't remember. Did you take the note with you when no. when you hit it? I kept it. I'm sorry. I kept it. Okay. Mm. How many years did carry? Like forty, eighty. Come on now. Be honest with me. I am being honest. An armed robbery is a 40-year felony. Now ask me, have I ever seen anyone get 40 years? No. And that's, no, I haven't. Listen, I got a murder on my head. Plus the robberies. They're going to give me life. Before we go through, I mean, that even if that does happen, that would be down the line, but there are other possibilities. Have you ever heard of concurrent sentencing? Oh, That's where they, there's a difference between concurrent and consecutive. So consecutive means they just tack the years on over and over and over, and you just serve out all those years, every single one of them. Concurrent means that you run years at the same time. So you could commit like 12 felonies, and you get 40 years for each of them, but instead of serving you know, 160 years, you're serving just 40, they're running all those other years together. So you're serving your time for each of those same crimes. You know what I'm saying? So instead of you doing all the time, you're serving your time for each of those offenses at the same time. There's lots of different options here, and I don't want you to focus on just all the negative because things happen. I can't even, I can't even tell you how many different ways sentencing go and how many options are out there for judges nowadays. It's not even worth me or any of these other detectives projecting to you um, or you trying to think of it yourself because it, it's just not something that we can determine right now. It's just not. Do you recognize that person there? Yeah. Who is that? Who else do you use? Who is it? It's me, man. Okay. Do you want to write that? Sign your name to it? What's this going to do? Just so I can show my supervisor that you're cooperating. Is that the 3.9 millimeter? Okay. Can you just circle it right at the high point to sign it from, please? But there's no, there's no bullets. Always thought banks are in cars. But you banked there? Have you seen one there before? Yeah. So. People who come and give their money. Okay. So, but you were in there, you said, uh, what, like 15 minutes before? No. My mom came 15 minutes before I stayed in the car. Okay. Gotcha. But her check hadn't, hadn't cleared? Or? Her check. Okay. Well, this is our. How long have you been doing hair on? Ever since I met the club. Okay. When I started selling. When, when was that? A few months ago. Do you feel that it's become a problem for you? Major problem. Took my uncle. I started 
starting to get worrisome. Is he using more and more often? Yeah, I'm gonna die one day. When did it start getting worse? <clears throat> it got worse when I did it. My attitude, I start to forget things. Mm-hmm. Like I couldn't hold it. Like shit, we got a birthday party, and how I, I forget the whole birthday party ever happened. Well, that is bad. Yeah, no. My temper, my attitude. Yeah. Start to talk to my mom and he kind of wait. Your mom didn't know what you were up to, obviously, this day. No. You do this, did this by yourself? Yeah. Where did you go after the bank? To my car house. How did you get there? Walked. Just walked down. Is it over on Hillside? Yeah, I walked through Hillside. Did you tell him what you did? Yeah. What did he say? Why you didn't come and get me? Mm. He's a murderer. He's wanted in Boston. Shooting a guy in his face. You know his name? Yeah, I know everything about him. Oh. And I know there's a lot going on, okay, but my name is Detective Porter. My first name is Caleb, and I'm with the city of West Dallas, okay? I was there during your search warrant. I'm walking, Sean, with Dallas and Milwaukee. Yeah, it's a busy room. I, I, I don't have a way around it. Um, there's a big one right here. You mentioned before, before um, Detective Sheehan started talking about his robbery, that you had robberies going, okay? And I'd like to talk about the robberies that happened in West Dallas. All right. You still with me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I robbed the liquor store. I robbed the gas station. I robbed the store down the street from the gas station. Okay. Well, I tell you what, let's talk about the liquor store. <clears throat> what date did that happen on? Don't remember. Okay. If I throw out uh, January 7th, would that sound about right? Mm-hmm. Okay. What happened that day? Nothing. Just wanted money. Okay. Man, I get that. I, and I don't think that you were out there to hurt anybody. But clearly something happened. You you went to this store, okay? Now you say the liquor store. Which which store are you talking about? The one down the street from my house. Okay. Black off from the house. Okay. Do you know the name of the store? No. Have you been in it before? Yeah. Okay. And can you describe kind of where it is? Is it like on a corner or is it mid block? Corner. Okay. If you're walking north on 60th Street, which side of the street is on? Left side. Left side. Okay, so left side on the corner, about a block from your house. Is that accurate? Okay. About what time did you go there? 10, 20 minutes before it closed. Okay. And what happened? Take me through the series of events, okay? You walk through the front door. What happened after you walked through the door? That's this. Y'all know it was me. Why do what what does the confession does? Well, very, very similar to what you talked to uh, the 
the Waukesha detectives about her. It's the state of why. mind. It's your state of mind. It's what you're going through. It's, this is your personal experience. Okay, I'm not you. I, I can't and won't put thoughts and ideas in your head just based on what I see on a video. Okay? You, you're the human element to this. And you're the only person that can tell me why this happened and what was going through your head when it happened. And I don't want to take that away from you. I can't. Business in the long run. Mm -hmm. The decorating business, right? Yeah, she she needed more money to get it off the ground. Okay. I mean, it was off the ground, but to get it out there, published, you know, and gone. Mm -hmm. Like, it's legit and everything, but it just, it's not enough to, you know, to keep going with everything. Like, she needed help. Right. She kept saying she needed help after my uncle died. One the same after that. My favorite uncle. His last words with me was, uh, nephew, take care of them. Make sure they got it. I said, I promise you, Uncle, I got you. A couple of days later, he died. After that, I said, I gotta get this money from all my business. So I started to do it, but every time I got the money, I was doing dumb shit with it. Giving it out, thinking I was rich. That's what I was thinking, really. Like, mm -hmm. literally, you know, never had that type of money. And I started to buy drugs. Everybody kept, you know, they know that I, my family knew that I had the money, but they never knew that I got the money. Mm -hmm. And they said, they said, dude, how's you blowing all this? Where are you getting it from? And how is you blowing all this money? Not knowing that I'm doing drugs. Well, they know I do drugs, but I told them that I was off of. So, I kept spending. I haven't given my mom nothing. And it made me feel bad to know that I, I looked out for other people and my, you know, my mom. You know, all that money I could have gave to her. It sent her on by the way. I knew it was never a way out for me. I knew it wasn't a way out of this. No matter what I did, no matter how I tried to hide the evidence, it was never a way out for me. I saw my life end as this, as it's going now. Only difference, I saw myself getting murdered. Right. So you're going into the liquor store to provide that's your intent, to provide for your family, right? Yes, sir. Okay. You went in there. What happened when you walked through the door? I shoot the gun. Okay. What gun are you shooting? The high point. A 9 millimeter high point? And what happens after that? I give up to my the clerk. There's two guys in there. Okay. They weren't moving fast enough. So I sent off another shot. You know, I really need to get out of here. To stop play to stop playing with my emotions. Mm -hmm. You know. You thought they were kinda of playing with you? No, they weren't. They they were wasting time. the first shot for him. To let him know it wasn't a gang. All right. And was that fired at them or where was it fired? Mm, it was fired. It wasn't at them, but it was fired somewhere in the store. Okay. I never shot to shoot at them. When was the second round fired? After I was leaving. So he wouldn't press any buttons. What were you wearing during this? I saw that photo. I know you're you're kind of glimpsing it from afar, but tell me what the shirt looked like, that type of thing. The hat, if you were wearing a hat, shorts, pants, whatever. I can I can exactly tell you what I had on, man. 
Okay. If I show you a picture of it, would you remember that? That's one of the photos that I took from the security footage from the labor store. What kind of shirt is that? Very little shirt. Okay. Is it your shirt? Yeah. With Darren. Is that Darren with you at that store also? Yeah. Okay. What was he wearing? Mm, I don't remember. When you went into the liquor store, what did you say? I don't remember. What did Darren say? Something about a bag. Put it in a bag. What was the plan before you guys even got to you and Darren? What was the plan? plan? It was just, you know, he he thought of us. He thought of it. Like we go get this door, bro. Said what door? He said right on the corner. I said the handle man is too that's too close by my house. This is like where it was. I mean, you already hit the G station down the street. I looked at him like, oh, you know that. He said the streets talk. You already know about Moss? Hmm? You already know about the Moss gas station? Yeah. That's weird, huh? Yeah. He said, I knew that was him. I watched you on Fox 6. He said, on what? He said, yeah. I laughed at him. Tell me about Moss, the gas station. What you want to know about it? I did it. Do you remember what day? Mm -mm. Okay. Around January 1st or 2nd, sound about right. Oh, what time was it? Late night. Okay. What happened? <clears throat> Just thinking about my mom helping in this room. Okay. Deep down inside of my conscience, telling me don't do none of this shit. I don't know what the consequence of behind it was. My mind just won't function. I'm sorry off them drugs. But then I already got a problem, ADHD, mentally disturbed, whatever they done this, whatever they done did to them. And I grew up on all these type of medicines, so that didn't make it no better. Mm -hmm. The reason I did all of this is because of my family. And I believe you. I'm so tired of the suffering. Never getting ahead. That type of thing. Yeah. Kayla, did anyone go with you to Moss help out? No. No one has a lookout. No one walked to the corner with you. Nobody. Okay. And what were you wearing during that? Same thing. 
thing. By that, you mean like the same sweatshirt, the same uh, hooded shirt? Okay. That's the same one in the bank, too. <laughs> this is a picture of Moss. Okay. Damn. Are you saying that that's you? Is that the same gun? Was that the same gun, Ken? Yeah. Okay. How much did you get from the store, or from the gas station? Don't know. That money gave it out. Okay. Are there any other incidents in West Dallas that you'd like to talk about now? There is another that I want to talk to you about, but I'm interested in anything else that, from your perspective, you have to tell me before we go on. Pantry. What happened at the pantry? Sorry. Are, are you talking about a quick pantry? Because there's a few of them in the so just Right down the street from that gas station. Okay. All right. I did that one with the guy that I ran to after the thing. The black guy, Puerto Rican. Okay, who is, who is that person? Well, the fugitive. He wanted him in Boston. Happened that day. Spurge robbery idea. I'm sorry? Spurge robbery idea. That's when the boss got to come in. I needed a way up. I was going to die in Milwaukee. He did for somebody killing him. Or because I owe a drug man money. Mm. So you're looking, you're looking for a way, right? And this is what you come up with as a way. Yeah. When you get to the store, what happens? The quick pantry. What happened with all of them? Well, in this one, you have a different person that's with you, right? So our circumstances are a little different. So I'm interested in how it came about, what was what was planned beforehand, and how you guys got to be at this store versus another. He blinded it up. I just had the gun. And is this the same, same gun? Different. Okay, what's this gun? Same model, different gun. What caliber? Forty, I think. Forty or four five. And where is that? He got it. Okay. So you and this wanted man, this Puerto Rican. Fugitive. Fugitive. You go into quick pantry. What happens when you go in? Demand for the money. Okay. Who's doing the demanding? Me. And what did you say? Give me the money. What did you do with your gun during that time? <clears throat> Just pointed at him. It wasn't bullets in it at the time. Okay, so another one without any, any actual live rounds. Mm -hmm. So no one was going to get hurt during this, right? Okay. No one was supposed to get hurt there in any of them. Right. Right. Describe to me what you took from the store. Money. The store. 
Was it packaged in a certain way? Yeah. How was it packaged? In a bucket. Oh, like a clear bucket, white bucket, what kind of bucket? I don't remember. Black bucket or something. Okay. It was the money sent for the robbery. I'm sorry, say that again? With the money set for the robbery. Okay. They were deaf. They, they kind of figured, you know, I don't know how, but they didn't have that money there for a robbery to happen. So you think that's like a quick quick, uh, quick cash in case someone comes in, they just get that and, yeah. and that's it? It was. No one's going after their safe then or any yeah. other stuff, you know, they're trying yeah. to outsmart you. Yeah. All right. How much money was there? Probably like... Four hundred dollars. Okay. And what was the split? Two hundred, two hundred. I was like five, six hundred. Okay. But about fifty fifty for you? I actually didn't split that money. I kept all the money. Okay. He didn't want a piece? He did. But he strung out on airline bad better than I am. Alright. So I told him, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to just keep the money because I know what you're going to go spend the money on. Mm -hmm. Just wasting it. Right. Same thing I did. Funny. What happens after you guys leave the store? <sighs> we run home. Damn. Okay. Anything else happen while you were running? Where did that clothing end up? What did you get rid of? Everything. The whole outfit. Okay. Were you wearing something specific that day? What's on camera? Okay. Um, can you describe it for me, though? No, I can't. Okay. If you saw a picture of it, would you recognize it as what you were wearing? Mm -hmm. Is that a pretty fair estimation? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not going to ask if the white guy's you or anything smart ass you like that. I'm not trying to play you or anything like that. I'm not trying to come down on you. Okay. If that person in the red is you, I would like you to sign the picture. What else has been going on after that? So this, you said, was your first robbery, right? What else is going on? What else happened in West Dallas during this time frame? So between September and, um, we'll call it New Year's, when you robbed the Moss gas station, what's been going on? Again, I'm not trying to trick you, okay, but there's a difference between me putting thoughts in your head, okay, and ideas in your head. I'm trying not to do that, okay, so it's not me um, keeping information from you, but if you're responsible for something, I don't want to be the one that just says, hey, you did this, and I'm giving you all the facts, okay. Um, do you know somebody named Jay? Street name named Jay? Who is that? It's me. Did something happen while you were using that name? Yeah, a drug deal gone bad. Okay. Where was that? At the park. By the Walgreens. Okay, so that little, like, uh, path park there with the bench that across from, uh... Yeah, the guy had, uh, a half of, uh, cocaine. Okay. A zip, a hairline. And I have weed. I didn't have money. Mm -hmm. I just ordered it up. And uh, I went and did it. They got me confused for my brother, though. How's that? Because he was out at the same time it was happening. Yeah. He was, he was out during the quick pantry robbery, too. You know that, right? He was, what'd you say? 
when you robbed Quick Pantry? Yeah, they came and got him. Well, they went actively going to get him. Yeah, he was outside the house working on a car. What do you think about that? The two times that you're doing something that he's out he's on? Out. What do you think about that? And I think he wasn't involved. I tell you that uh, he wasn't involved in that one of them. He just at the wrong place at the wrong time. So you're ripping a guy for weed and a little hair on him? And cocaine. And cocaine. What this guy look like? Yes, he can. Or he can. Okay. Did you ever exchange names with him? No. Okay. Police know who he is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering if you ever knew his name. No, I met him through uh, some guys on the street. And how'd you get introduced? Like, how do you get your number? How did that happen? Um, you know, I don't really remember. But I know we got in contact with each other through some other guys. And we most likely exchanged change numbers. Who else was involved in that? And what? That drug room. It was just me. Nobody on a bike? No. Nobody saying police get on the ground while there's a big foot pursuit going on through all this? No. That's what the guy said. He called me late. He called me actually. I was looking at him. I was looking at all the police. It's on top of a roof. They had their little machine guns. And he got on the phone. He's like, I got you now, motherfucker. We at your house. Ooh, ooh, you and your little guy. I said, what guy? I'm by myself. To know you had a little guy with you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But as I did, he had people come and help him. Thinking we were just, that we was, I was just trying to, like, whoever he said, that we was trying to rob him. Did that guy, how, I mean, how did he get there? How did y'all meet up? Did he come in a car? Did he come yeah, he came in a car with his nephew. The you know? black car that was out there. You know he had a nephew, like you knew him as his nephew? No, he explained everything when we got in the car. Okay. See, I walked down to that gas station I robbed. Yeah. That's where we met up there, got in the car. Okay. And I was like, no, I kept telling him, like, it just don't feel right. I think mm -hmm. the police followed me. Mm -hmm. You know, to throw him off and... I was like, walk through the park with me. So I handed, you know, I handed over this little plastic bag. It felt like all the money was in there. Sure. There was nothing in there. He handed over the dope? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he handed over the dope. But as I was running, it was all the dope was there, everything. But as I was running, I knew inside my head, like, if police catch me, I'm going down with this and that. So as I was running, I was throwing things. What'd you throw? A sip of a sip of heroin, a half of cocaine, powder, and a half of weed. Okay. Did you point a gun at this guy? Never. Can you think of why you would say that that happened? I mean, other than to just cover his ass and to, stuff? To make it seem like, you know... I mean, I know what this is, and I'm not trying... Like I yeah. said, if it's not a robbery, then I believe you. You're telling me it's not a robbery, this yeah. is just a rip. Yeah, it actually was. He was just trying to cover his ass so the police don't be, you know, trying to investigate on what he got and who he is. Hmm. He messed with the cartel. He had guns in the car. Some guy almost ran me over on the motorcycle. When did this happen? Uh, everything just happened that I was running through I was running through West Dallas. I mean is this why you bought a gun? Hmm? Is this why you bought a gun for protection? Yeah. And he he don't live too far from me. You know, my brothers done ran into him. I didn't tell my brothers how he looked and stuff. So I'm like Y'all to see him. Y'all gonna know him. He's short. You know, he looks like he messed with the car. So he walks with a big old gun on him. Too nice. Well, do you remember when this rip happened? Was it like late summer? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Tell you. 
how many months or weeks ago all this was? What's the meaning to come? Before or after the quick pantry. Can you I think it was after. Okay. Anything else? Any other incidents? Robberies? Tell me about October. Like the beginning and end of October. What happened in October? Well, uh, everything seems to center around this Moss gas station. They didn't get hit again, but some stuff just keeps happening there. I hit that gas station once. No, no, I know that. I'm not saying that gas station got hit, but it seems like some more arrangements for uh, meetups got planned there. Okay. I have an incident that happened on October 7th at that Moss gas station lot. Four-door blue car, tinted windows, comes up to that gas station. It's about quarter after midnight, thereabouts. How that are we Okay. Anything else that you can remember? Do you have any questions for me about anything that's happened in West Dallas? I, I can answer for those. I can't answer for anything else. Who got my family? West Dallas or Milwaukee? Milwaukee has your family. Very cool. And why I tell you that? Was. <clears throat> They're the ones that wrote the warrant. And so what will the school system have to look at? Just to make sure. Uh, the clothing that you're wearing in the bank? They're at his house, the Puerto Rican house. Alright. Um, Sagan is at his house too. That's Tom? No. Mm -hmm. So I'm so 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 nine high points. Not the other time. That was Four days. Yeah. yeah, that was used in the pantry. Okay. Um, the clothing you're wearing is at this house? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can just write that down here and sign that for me, please. Do you want to give us his name now? <clears throat> now, <clears throat> Kenneth, <clears throat> have you uh, under the speedway in Milwaukee on Blumont Avenue? No, sir. Are there any other incidents in Milwaukee no. that you want to tell, talk about? I know it's the bank. It's the only one. No gas stations in Milwaukee? No, sir. Uh, what made you choose West Dallas gas stations over Milwaukee gas stations? Because I don't have the transportation to get back and forth to Milwaukee. That's closer to your house. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Uh, well, what about this Brookfield gas station? Did you, you had transportation for that one? Yeah. That's when I got with uh, Darren. Okay. And it's with a girlfriend. Who is... Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, but... Who, who is it? Is it Jerica? Or Jerica? Mm -hmm. Do you remember when that one was? Uh, uh, too many to do do too many drugs. I can't. I can't remember now that you bring it up to him. Do you remember the name of the gas station or what road it was on? You you've been to the area before. Are you kind of familiar with the area? Yeah, my sister got called prostitute down the street. Okay. Do you know what road it's on? Mm -mm. That's when I first. When they caught when they caught my sister prostitute, this like one of the first times I've been a walking shot. Yeah, it's first time I've been walking shot. Where where did your sister get pinched? At that hotel. You know the name of the hotel? Mm -mm. Okay, you don't remember the name of the gas 
gas station but um, Jerrica drove you, you and Darren in the car or Chevy Cruze or whatever she didn't know what was going to happen to you she didn't well, what did happen when he got there he went back oh bad. this guy was crazy like the clerk or the clerk yeah right? this guy was like never saw nothing like that in my life I had to climb in his door there's the 40 or the 9? The 9. Okay. I shot off my shot. Scary. He turned around and laughed. Kind of oh. laughing. He was laughing. That sounds well nuts. And I was like, hold the gun. I gave the gun to Terry. And I was like, get over my hurry up. I'll have him shoot you. And uh, he's like, there ain't no money. He opened the voice and the angry. There wasn't no money. Terry told me to grab the money. That's what I did. And Terry. Said, uh, he said, get the lotto tickets. <laughs> and the dude gave him all the lottery tickets. And Darren ran out the store. And I was the last one out. So the clerk threw the, the register in my leg. He threw the what at your leg? The register. Oh, the register? Oh, okay. yeah. Like the drawer? Yeah. Okay. Just yeah. the drawer, not the whole thing. Right. He, 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 he said, oh, what are we fucking with? He got to chasing us. Oh. That's Darren and shooting him. I'm in back of Darren, though. So I'm trying not to get hit by a bullet. He's just shooting. He don't even know. He, don't, he can't even shoot, you know. He ain't got no accuracy, no aim. Sure. And uh, he just shooting. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? What is wrong with you? That's why I'm screaming. He's like, get out the way, bro. He chasing. I look back. I see him. And as soon as we were running, old girl must have heard the gunshots and that I was. And so when we pulled out there, they was coming. What did the Jericho think you guys were stopping at the gas station for? She didn't know we were stopping at the gas station. She, she, driving? she dropped us off at uh, Motel 6. Okay. Is that where your sister got pinched? No. She got pinched at the hotel, like, let's see, like, go. Right across the hallway. Okay. Yeah, I think there's, there's a Super La 8 there. No, not Super 8. La Quinta? La Quinta. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So what were you guys doing at the Super 8? Why'd you get dropped there? Super 8? Or the Motel 6. Why'd you get dropped there? Because he didn't want her to know what was going on. Oh, okay. So he was still worried about her at that point? Who, me? No, I don't know. She, no, she he, he was worried about her. You know, I kept asking was she was she you know, was she good, was she good? Like she gonna tell him this. But he's like, Man, she good, man, I got her, man, that's my that's my bit that's my boo, that's my baby, she she gonna hold me down. And I was like, All right. But we still never told her what was going on. We told her that we were going to get drugs. <clears throat> and you think she just heard the shots and came came over? <laughs> Where was she supposed to go after she dropped you off? Home. That was your understanding? Yeah. Or did she say that? No, that was my understanding. I after we got out of the car at Motel Six, he he told her, he's like, Go on ahead, baby, go on ahead. Go on home. Like we got away back. But if she would have went home, we'll be dead. It would have been a shootout with the police because as soon as we left out, we saw them coming. How much money did you get from there? Nothing. Probably like 50 pound books. How many tickets? The whole slot. One of the whole books? Two slots. Okay. And what happened with those tickets? They weren't even activated. So you're trying to, you played them and tried to cash them, is that what you're saying? I had others to do it. You hired others to do it? No. I had others to do it. Oh, who, who, who did it? Who tried to cash him? Oh, uh, what's her name? Ger I don't know what girl name. Levante was a uh, baby mom? Uh-uh. The, uh, Jericho girl. Jer the Jericho girl? Yeah. Okay. She's, she's the only one? Yeah, she's the only one. Shakima didn't do any of that? Huh? Shakima? Who is Shakima? 
This is the girl on the couch. Shamika? Shamika. Sorry, Shamika. Yeah, Shamika. Yeah, yeah, yeah she is. Mm-hmm. Listen, when I tell you, my brothers and sisters, can have nothing to do with nothing. That was going on. That was going on. They did it. Thank you. Well, yeah. The reason we bring it up, kind of, is because we, we found some of the lottery tickets. In, in the room? No. Yeah, I had gave up some. Okay. So those are from the Brookfield or that? Yeah, shed. but they didn't know that, though. They didn't know where, where we got them from. My, my baby brother kind of said, and he was upset that whole night. He said, man, my baby here. So he kept saying was his baby there. And, man, y'all doing this dumb shit, man. He knew, but I kept denying Like, no, we ain't doing nothing, man. We got these from a crack kid. That's what I kept telling him. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't buying it, though. No, he knew. Well, he already knew what happened. He said, man, y'all, man, I'm, he said, I'm finna move. I don't really need to even say what was going to happen. He said, they've been raised this month. Let me ask you. Um, so you're in your room that night. You share it with Deontay, right? Mm-hmm. You share your room with Deontay? No, nobody. He just so-called come in my room. He's so he come, he come in my room sometimes when he, like, because, uh, like I said, a lot of time we'd be there, like my cousin was there. Oh, yeah, you need a room. I get that. My sister was there. They was on the couches. Yeah. So the couches, yeah, the couches was took up, so he came in a room with me. Okay. What did he say about the bullets on your, your counter? Yeah, asked where did I get them from. Yeah. Did you say anything else? Yeah, I say I stole them from Mama. Okay. Can you just put your clothing at Puerto Rican's house on the photos well? I'm pretty sure they're not there anymore. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, did he throw them out or? Most like. Did you just leave them there to change clothes after the the robbery? No, I told them to get rid of them, but that's where they were left to me. Okay. Did you, did you change it to something else at his place? Yeah, his clothes. Okay. Was that because you thought the police would be looking for those they, clothing? They on there. They on one of the photos, one of y'all photos. Of what? Which clothing? That y'all got out of my house, the pictures y'all took. I think that is your photos. But the crazy guy one, the one that threw the drawer at your feet, the register. Are you sure you would just Darren there? You sure that wasn't somebody else? No, it was Darren. The dude looks white to me. No, it's Darren. Listen, there's no reason to lie to you. No, I'm not saying you're lying, but I'm saying there's a lot going on. I ain't got nothing to lose. I'm done with already. I know it. So you're saying that that's. I mean, Darren's a black guy. He's he's a black guy like you're a black guy. You're saying that that's Darren holding the door that's behind you? It's Darren. It's Darren. I mean, maybe Darren was in the car and somebody else came out with you. No, 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 listen. That's Darren. He's, he not, do you know I got photos? Not right now, I don't. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, listen. I want to, that's Darren. It was, 
Because me, Darren, and this girl. Yeah, there's nobody else. Alright, cool stuff. Uh, now we got the, the burning question. What's up with the cash? Well, I got blue down now. I'm to my mind, what want me to do? Same dude right there. Yeah. Where did you have it stashed? Was in my ass. Way up there? No. Where'd that money come from? Car stuff was from different things. <clears throat> I have it from uh, the bank in Milwaukee? No, that money took long ago. From uh, the gas station two nights ago? Yeah. About the West Dallas and no, no, that's all the money from Waukesha. All that is from Waukesha? Okay. Mm -hmm. You just said it was from lots of different things. I'm just trying to clarify. What do you mean? Just by like, that? Uh, like I had a few, a few jobs left, you know, from all the other things I was doing. Okay. And it, frankly, you could say it's all from Walker Shadow. Almost all of it. Yeah, almost. And how how much did you get from that store again? The workshop. A few uh, pennies. A couple hundred. Yeah, he took the money though. He gave me. I never. I never got to spend none of the money that we did. When did you? Uh, when did you put it up your ass? After the police came to get out of my pocket and put it back in my pocket. Really? When he came and got me. You one of those flexible guys that can reach around with his cuffs or what? How did you get it out of your they pocket? They never cuffed me. Maybe they, cuffed, they cuffed me afterwards. Like after I got out the bed and. He he would put your hand in your head. That's what I did. And he pulled out the money. And he was like, oh, okay. these guys wearing the helmets? No. The, it was one of the slammer guys. Skinny. But he put it back in my pocket. And I was like, idiot. It's like, this is the money I just did this with. So I was like, I got to get rid of it. And as he told me to sit down, I ripped and grabbed it. And I sat on it. You know, I mean, I'm I'm moving, making my way and shit while I'm doing this and everything. You know, they not they not paying attention. But I put the money in my ass and I go to jail with it. Is that comfortable? Hell no. Getting paperwork out there? No, no, I don't. That's everything. It's just the right thing, mommy, want me to do. I can respect that. I'm just going to ask one more follow-up question, Deontay, or, or I'm sorry, uh, Ken. The clothing that you wore for the liquor store robbery and the Moss robbery, where did that clothing end up? It should be around the world now. I'm sorry? I said it should be around the world now. What do you mean about that? No, we do garbage. We dumped it? Yeah. The Moss, so that blue, multiple blue shirt? No, that one they it's on one of the photos. He just pulled it. Yeah, I'm asking you where it ended up though. Like what after that robbery, that last robbery, the liquor store robbery, what happened to that clothing? Uh, I put it in the bag. Threw it in the closet. Which closet? The living room. The one he took the photos by. Okay. Is that by the bathroom? Mm mm. Where are you walking in? Gotcha. Right there. Just the same hat that you were wearing during that robbery, also. Shaking your head, is that yes or no? Yes, yes. Okay. This is the shirt, correct? Now, what's going on with my family? Um, I get some pictures, I'll make some calls. I appreciate it. I here, I'll let you know. All right, but if they had nothing to do with nothing, like you're saying, then we have no no reason to talk to them any further. All right? Yeah, because I had a few guys that I was up in the way to the table before I got here. They're telling me that they up here, you know, investigating my people, and he heard it through the room. My brother's like, if you got all of this, why are you still talking to me? 
You know, I think it's just fucked up for somebody else to go down for someone else's actions. You know what I mean? True. You're still looking out for your family. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. Right? Sounds a little bit tight. Camp, is there anything else that you would like to talk to us about now? Not saying that there's not going to be a chance later, but while we're here and we have this dialogue going. How many robberies was that? Five. Yeah, five or six. six. Something like that. I mean, the, the drug rib doesn't really. Yeah. But. Uh, you guys are looking for me for a while. Hadn't stopped, and that. Eventually. Yeah. There's an end to everything. Mm -hmm. That's all it says. It's not the end of the book, though, kind of. It's just the end of the chapter. All right. Oh, it's the end of the book for me. Oh, come on, no. This, we I, I know. I know where you're. I know where you're coming from. What they gonna do to me, man? Y'all know once I get on that stand and the judge look at everything, damn. You gonna be like, damn, man, you did all this? You didn't have a mind. You didn't think before you did this. So why should I? You ain't gonna throw the book at me. Well, let me ask you this, kind of. If, if these clerks, these bank tellers were sitting right here, what would you say to them right now? Good fucking question. I'm telling them this. There's a reason behind everything I do. It wasn't intentionally to hurt nobody, kill nobody. I was trying to feed my family just like y'all, but in a different way. I won't tell them I'm sorry. I tell them I apologize. I apologize, that's what I tell them, I apologize. Okay, nothing bring back the things I did. Not even that guy that got killed. His family fucked up behind that. Of course, I, I, this sound a little bit crazy, but I hope they do throw the book at me. I was just a mistake when it happened. A dog let off the leash. Nothing could be done about it. But what I got coming. Hey, I'm playing off for the This ain't the life I this ain't the life I wanna live. I wanted to be one of you guys. This ain't the life I wanted. Alright. Alright, guys. Give us a few minutes, alright? Is the restroom or anything like that? Uh, I would like to phone call. Okay, we'll do that in a couple minutes, all right? And like two more cigarettes, I see. All right, see if I can make the arrangements. All right, thank you. All right. Fucking outcome is income, yeah. 
I got time like a prisoner. I'm locked down hard with no visitors. My lady's gone, but I'm missing her. Where did I go wrong in this picture? But y'all ain't feeling me mentally, physically, ain't taking me seriously. Happened the chemistry, don't think it was meant to be. Somebody please set me free. I'm burning eternity. Yeah. I just missed some sunny days. I just missed some sunny days. I just missed some sunny days. I remember all the drama from my daddy and my mama. Daddy became a smoker and my mama came a woman. Daddy didn't stop his crime, he always got us what we wanted. Let's take it to 99, summer nights nice upon the corner. I remember you fed my belly, yeah. Remember you fed my belly. I just missed them sunny days. Life is all fucked up. When you gotta hustle hard just to feed. He said, life is all fucked up. You gotta hustle hard just to eat. I'm, he said, um, ain't no, he said, I'm walking through the rain, snow, and sleep. I gotta feed the fam. I just missed them sunny days. I just missed them sunny days. I just missed them sunny days. I remember all the drama from my daddy and my mama. Daddy became a smoker and my mama came a woman. Daddy didn't stop his grind. He always got us what we wanted. Let's take it to 99. Summer nights up on the corner. Remember you fed my belly. Yeah. Remember you fed my belly. It's fucked up right now. I'm stuck in the hood, but I'm going to make it out the ghetto and show my family was good. It was never handed to me. Had to get it in blood. Government fucked up, trying to label us thugs. Mama holding on strong, walking straight through the mud. Everything got better when I ran into the, when I ran into the club. The same stuff I was selling, my uncle, he used stuff. So to one day I saw him slumped over, mouth full of blood. When the nigga in the club, yeah, he let him throw them bands out. But when the bomb on the street holding his hand out, they talk shit. Raise up the window, leave him left out. Let a nigga do me like that. Let him do me like that. You gotta do uh, some quick tape work. Uh, we'll get you that cigarette and a phone call. Alright? Um, what thing uh, on your phone? You got like a, a pattern or a passcode or something for it? To open it up? You want to make a call or do a text or something? Huh? Your cell phone. So what about it now? You got a passcode or, or one of them patterns that you got to do to get it unlocked? Mm-hmm. What's, what is it? You guys knew who what's me that for? That's just part of the overall investigation. So. It's not a passcode on there at all. What is it? You just slide it open. You just slide it open? Mm-hmm. So you don't have to do like a certain pattern on it or anything? No. You just slide it and it turns on and you can do whatever you want on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Real good. All right. Let me see if the guys are ready with the paperwork. We'll do that and we'll go out and get a smoke and make a call to your mother. Uh -huh. Okay? Sitting here. Guess I didn't make bail. That time is story to tell. Started when I was nine years old. Woke up, my daddy was gone. I started hustling, and you couldn't tell me nothing. Running in the hood, trying to be somebody. My soul is on them day. I was searching for something. I tried to be good. I tried. Tried to live life on the double. Living too fast.